All right, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be bringing you some MLG Detroit S&D tip tricks and spots. I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of cool stuff, and I'm going to try to be as organized as possible. So I'm going to start off with a quick, a uh, couple sniping positions, really powerful sniping positions, positions where you can get first blood or you can maybe see crosses, stuff like that. So let's get right into it. So first, I'm going to start off on the defense side, and this is actually a way to watch cross. Now, you know there's the back garage ramp right there. If you if you jump like this, you can see the cross, or even just frame it like this, you might see one or two cross. And this is the perfect way of seeing cross, you know, off spawn if they're going B or if they're going A. Alright, so I took off the thermal just because I'm not too big, too much of a fan of a thermal, but this is another area where you snipe because people always peek that window trying to look in green. Uh, a way I like to do it is under the right under the door handle. It kind of gives you like that little perfect view. Other than doing this, just because it's like more cover, you crouch and you can easily pick that guy once he peeks. If not, you can obviously you know peek here, try to get a kill. But that's usually where people go. Another basic snipe off break is sniping here, waiting for them to cross or head glitch this. Uh, the only problem is if they jump high, they're really straight around the corner, they might kill you. So if you want to change it up, you don't have to come here. You can also come here. Off break, you're not going to get ki killed here immediately just due to the fact that nobody's going to rush down the middle of the map within like 20, se like 15 seconds. So you're pretty much good to stay here for a couple seconds. I'll say 5, 10 seconds, you'll see nothing. Then you can jump off, obviously. Go here or just move your position. Now, a lot of trick people like to do, obviously you can't see from middle, is just do this. Constantly jump, you can see the cross. I don't have blast suppressor on right now, but people love doing this because it's like it's a good shot. You can't get shot from nowhere. Now, a trick I've learned, and it's probably better to do it this this way, just due to the fact that you're not constantly jumping and making yourself vulnerable. You you jump on top of this cube right here or crate, whatever you want to call it, and instead of now you have higher ground, so you can literally just keep hopping. And you might, oops, you might not be able to get the kill, but you can see cross just simply from hopping. It's way more, you're not, you're less vulnerable and people can't sound whore you, so you it's, it's a smart way of doing it. Now, another good place to snipe is around this crate. A lot of pro players do it, a lot of people do it just because you can watch middle and you can see this door. A lot of people like peeking this door, peeking out middle and boom, out of nowhere, headshot. Uh, people also love going on top of the wall, like let's say this corner, this corner, and just looking over, see if there's anybody. So if there's a guy in B, you pretty much have the guy's middle down and it just helps. Also, you are near A, so the guy, your teammate at A, if he needs help immediately, you can easily go like this and start helping him. So it's a really good defensive spot overall. Now, the last spot I would say, but you have to be really careful when using it, the uh, school stairs. Uh, a really good way to use this is hide behind this pillar. You can't get seen from middle at all and you can easily see the cross, maybe get a kill from the guy crossing. But... A lot of people like to do this, and I do it as well, you know, get a peak middle. You have a lot of cover, it's hard to get killed with a nade. You're pretty much safe. The only problem is, I'll show you that spot later, but people like to go here or top atlas and try to kill you. Maybe even at the ambulance. A uh, way I like using this spot is actually smarter. You you cr you prone here, and it's like, it's harder for them to see you. If, if you're like this, you know, you're a lot more vulnerable. But if you're prone here, it's hard for people to see. If a guy goes on top of this, you kill him. If he's in the ambulance, you kill him. If he comes out of, uh, he's trying to go to middle school, I mean middle hospital, you kill him. So, the more effective way is to prone here or use this spot. I'm just trying to teach you guys uh, how to use the spots better. Now, the last, last, last sniper spot, which is not really useful in defense, but people like to do sometimes. You can sometimes sit like here. You can see the cross to A. You can see them cross the green. Uh, you can also see this cross, but it's, it's maybe it's not really useful in a defense situation. More like in a 1v1, 1v2, whatever. Alright, so now we are in the offense side. I'm going to be showing you guys a uh, spot. I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of stuff. But I'm going to start off with the sniping spots once again. So, everyone knows the basic atlas. For people who doesn't know, you can you don't have to triple zoom in. You can just double zoom in. But I like triple zooming in for special T. So, you can see the cross here. Uh, people, you can count how many cross. Well, there's one, two. It's pretty simple. Uh, if you're getting picked a lot here, <coughs> a little trick I found out and I like to do is simply go right here. You could you could make it in time where you know you can jump off, go like this. You don't even have to go to ambulance. You go like this. You still see them cross, and it's like literally impossible for a guy to hit a shot. If a guy comes to middle, you can just kill him. So it's a more safer spot. Something I found out that's really cool. All right. So another trick, and I've seen people use it now because I probably showed them on stream. But what you can do is go here. And you could easily snipe th these stairs. Because thing is, if you if you come here, there's a high chance the guy's pre-aiming you. If you come here, well, it's basically what I showed you earlier. If you come like this, the guy's probably pre-aiming you. So a way to catch the guy off guard, you simply jump up here. You pre-aim the corner. Nothing. 
and you can also see if a guy goes uh, blue to the left here. Because people like to, you know, try to flank or do some type of play. So if you're like preaming this and out of nowhere, I've gotten kills like that all the time. You see him? Boom. Dead. Now, a good thing about this, if you know how many cross, you can play picks here. Uh, if a guy's here with a bow or sub, he won't kill you fast enough. He can easily hide behind cover. You can kind of check out middle. And a trick I like to do, and I'm going to show you guys, is you double jump. You see this. You can see school window. You can get a first blood. I've gotten first blood many times like this. People are more careful now due to the fact that they know that, but it's a cool thing. All right, so going back to this spot where I showed you you can snipe each other off. People like sitting here. You got to be really careful when coming around this corner because people are, might be preaming you already. But this place is good to get first bloods. I mean... You get the, this guy if he's here, you get the guy in the crate. You could get the guy jumping back here. Yeah, right there. He keeps jumping up and down. And then you could even get the guy in green. Now, when it comes to guy in green, I would recommend you don't peek right away. For example, you're coming here, like run by it or something. Try to really not get shot and then peek out the right corner like this. And even if they're on bomb, they rush bomb, you can be really careful. Go like this. So that's a good spot to get some picks. <coughs> Now, some people like watching flank with sniper. A uh, cool thing I found out, it's a really cool little thing, glitch. Not glitch, but... Alright, so if you sit here, you can see obviously through the cross, through this blue thing. You can see if they crossed. Or you can even go more like this, so it's more more space. You can see the blue stairs. And you can kind of, you're kind of covered from middle. If a guy comes here, you, you might have... You, no one's going to come middle if you guys or your team playing B. So this spot's really nice. I mean, you like this. You kill them. If a guy crosses, he won't see you. And you can play off that. You know, take your time, maybe watch, push them out. Another way to watch flank is a cool little thing. I don't, I don't know. It's like a, gl it's not a glitch, but oh, it's like an invisible wall. It's weird because this thing is weird. But you can jump on top of like this, the window. So a lot of people love doing this when watching flank. Sometimes I showed you a better spot, this spot right here. But a lot of people like doing this as well. It's not bad, but for if you're using a sniper, if you miss your first shot. Uh, you're probably fucked. So what you want to do is a cool spot. Is basically do this. You can head glitch as well. It's a uh, it's a nice spot. I mean, it's practically a head glitch. If you want to have more eyes on everything, you can crouch. If not, well, crouch is more of a head glitch. Safer. This is more nicer. I like seeing like this because nobody's gonna pick you off. That you're, it's basically a head glitch really fast. So you have a chance. If you if you want to run away, you simply move forward. Boom, you're out. You can do whatever you want. Now another nice way to watch uh, flank is hopping up the statue and hidden hidden the second panel because you can't go all the way up top and you can watch basically the same thing you're just a little bit more distant this is better for a sniper position um another thing you can do for watching full flank let's say your team's going a you want to watch full flank at b a really cool spot i found out and i used it before it's actually really funny when i killed people so you want to sit around here anywhere you now you know you have the see-through glass so you have this position the thing is when someone's coming up here let me show you guys an example they're not going to see you. They have this huge blockade here. They're not even thinking about that. They're just thinking about flanking. So they're going to go like this. Now, you're barely visible at all due to the blockade. You probably won't see the guy to begin with. But once he gets around this corner, you're going to start seeing him. He might see you, but you're already pre You have for a shot. Now, you want to pre this. On top of that, you have this. So, for example, if a guy comes out of closet, see-through glass will pick him up right there. This thing that you're aiming through right here will pick him up. So it's a really nice way to watch flank. It's really safe, secure, and it's, it's pretty good. So another sniper spot, the thing I was showing you guys before. People like jumping up. can't see this from here, but that's the trailer back there, right? People like jumping up and down, up and down, trying to snipe the guy trailer. Uh, I've got sniped before like that. It's the worst thing. But you might see him jumping up. You can snipe him right there. It's a, it's a little risky, but uh, it's a spot you can use. Some people like coming in a closet, go like this, pre with a sniper, and just wait here. I mean, the chances of you hitting that shot is like about 90% chance. The guy comes here, you shoot that. You can easily just rotate here, shoot that. Alright guys, I'm going to be talking about the bomb plants on offense. You know, positions, uh, what's good moves to do. So, if you plant it anywhere in a, in a little, little, if you plant it anywhere near B, you can sound hoard it really easy. And then one way is simply by going here. You can easily hear the pickup. This is a pretty good safe spot. If you know he's somewhere in B, you can easily just watch your front and kind of sound hoard your side. So it's not a, it's a pretty good spot to begin with, or maybe it's 15 seconds left, you're like, alright, let me go to the spot, I know I got this. So basically what I'm going to say next is, usually when it comes to planting bomb and you're rushing in, and there's, it's a 4v4, 3v4, whatever, they have a lot of people alive, you usually want to plant it here, no doubt. This is the most safe spot to plant, you know, you can't die, it's really smart to plant it here. Now, 
that's how it's how it rolls, right? That's how it goes. You want to plant that. You're not in a 4v3. You're not gonna plant it here. Like, what's the point? You know, you're the high chance you're gonna die. It's stupid. But now in a 1v2, in a 1v1, maybe you're in a 1v2 position. They don't know you're a bomb. A smart trick, and it's probably the only good spot to be, is planting it right here. The bomb has been planted. Now, why is it so good to plant it there? Well, you can easily come through Middle Street like this. Or you can do the the reason why it is planted there and do this. You can easily snipe the guy. Now the only thing you have to be really careful about, if they see where the bomb's planted, meaning they might know where you are because that's just an obvious thing. So when it comes to killing that bomb guy, you might want to put get in a better position, for example, let's say here, or or maybe don't 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 go in there because that's like asking for you to die. So you go like this. If they have overkill sniper, they're most likely preying you. But that's a nice place to plant it, you know. Now everyone knows to plant A is a harder bomb. It's it's obviously harder. Uh, you're more vulnerable depending on where you want to plant it. If you want to plant it here, you can easily see in here. A guy in green can easily go like this. You're dead. So planting A could be very very hard. Now something I learned and it's smart. You want to if you ever want to plant it, you want to crowd prone here and plant behind his left corner. If you look, you're you're pretty far away from the bomb. The guy in here obviously can't see you, and I've been in this position where I go like, let me check if he's on bomb. Oh, not on bomb. This guy can't see you either, just simply for going here. He doesn't see anything here along the lines of the bomb, nothing. So a nice good corner that people start planting right here, basically as far left corner as you can, and prone behind it. Now, back to what I was saying, um, but overall it's hard to plant the bomb. You know, if you plant it here, a guy from Crates or Mustard can kill you. But when it comes to planting bomb, if you could get it down, a really good spot... Well, a great spot. It's actually, this is probably the best spot you ever want to plant it. This is a word of advice. Now, if you think there's a guy crates, you can obviously be more careful in planting here. But you're a little bit more vulnerable to green. It's a little risky. But if you can get the bomb down in any of these two positions, you can literally play your spawn. Why? Because you have perfect view of the bomb. This is from, from, I call it elbow or green whatever, or yellow, whatever you guys want to call it. But you have perfect view of the bomb. It's such a simple thing. I know a lot of people do this already. But just for the people that don't know. You can also plant it here in a 1v1, 1v2 situation maybe. You can see the bomb from here. You can see the bomb from here. You can see the bomb from here. So it's a really nice spot to plant it. Maybe in a 1v1 or 1v2, you could get away with basically killing them and running away. So it's a really good spot. Other than that, you don't want to plant it anywhere else. Alright, so during the explanation of everything, I did show you guys some nice cool spots, but... I'm going to finish off with some little spots that you guys may have not known. So to start off, this is a really nice spot. Uh, I like to prone here because people don't really see you. They can't see you. You can actually shoot through this glass. So it's kind of a benefit for you. But it's like literally impossible to see your opponent. Uh, or you can lay like this. It's kind of like a half your body's covered. You're a little bit safe. You can shoot like this. But if you're going to shoot, make sure you don't hit this. And you shoot actually through the glass just behind this. So a nice spot to do, especially if you're camping out blue and waiting for someone. You can do this. You can easily go into, like, push the grass down, go in this crack. And you can kind of see uh, if someone comes in blue or grass, you can easily go like this. Maybe someone's flanking around and they're front here now. You, you see them or you hear them, you go like this. Another some couple of spots people like to go in blue is this spot right here. Basically a first shot every time. People like to come in here, head glitching this kind of thing. So I'm going to show you two cool things in blue that you guys probably didn't know. And it's pretty cool. I found this out myself. And alright, so to start off, this room, you can actually jump on top of this. It's kind of more of a spot. I guess you can say people want to really expect you to be on top of something in this little closet. You can kill them. It's a cool little thing. See people won't see you. And now uh, this little cool thing I found out. I don't know when you want to use this. You mean you can use this often, but if you if you melee this, the books slide down. The only books that stay are the red books and well these right here, but the ones that are in front fall. And then you can watch this cross. You can watch and the head, you're in a perfect head glitch, you have perfect sight. It's actually a really sick spot to use. Hope you guys like it. Alright guys, that concludes my MLG S and D Detroit tips, tricks, and spots. It's a little hard for you guys to show some love. But I hope you guys like the video. I'm sorry, it's probably gonna be a little bit long. It probably is a little too long, but I wanted to break down everything, show you guys everything that I know. There's probably even more stuff. Now, I pretty much told you guys everything I knew, and I hope, I mean, it's a lot to, to information to give, but whatever. You guys 
learn right here you guys know for me if you guys really want me to do another video like this just leave a like and i'll definitely share more of my knowledge with you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel for some more of this or anything else apathy out